It's Running Backs Week here in the CGFL. It's Ryan Waters and Andre Lalonde going into his sixth season with the Hilltops as the running back coach. Yes, a former running back himself. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Have, has it settled in the transition from player running back to now coaching running backs for you? Uh, I think it, every year I kind of feel a little bit more as my body gets a little bit older and I try and do a, a few of the drills with the players and it gets a little harder for me <laughs> to do it in my <laughs> I can, I can feel that I'm a coach now. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit past the, the playing and doing it, and uh, using more of my brain, than my legs, I guess. <laughs> well, the million dollar question is what makes a good running back in your opinion, in your eyes? Oh, good question. Um, well, there's a combination of things. I think a running back is uh, uh, so many skills have to come in to be a running back. So I think yeah, a couple things that come into my mind would be, um, vision and instinct as a running backs, so, you know, play designed to go a certain spot, but you know, you can flip a coin on, you know, whether that hole is going to be there or not. And a running back has to react. And so I would say the vision and instincts would be a big part. Um, another one would be balance and balance mm. gets brought to running back when they're running the ball, when they're pass blocking and it, all facets of the game, having great balance, and being able to stay on their feet because, you know, they're, they're in contact every play, whether it's getting tackled or blocking. And so having great body control and body balance would be another uh, key one. Uh, just And just overall toughness. Because uh, when, especially when we're looking at, you know, kind of the junior football, the game for us, um, oftentimes we might have one uh, key running back that gets 20, 25, 30 carries in a game and they get – they get hit each and every play. They have to be able, they have to be resilient and able to get up each and every time, even if it's a, a loss of one or a gain of 20, uh, they get the snot kicked out of them. They need to be able to get up, pick themselves up and uh, know that, Hey, they're getting the ball again next play. And, uh, and so I guess those are kind of three, the, th uh, the instincts, the vision, the balance, toughness. I mean, you could, I could go on and talk about athleticism, quickness and footwork and things like that. But, uh, those, I guess, kind of the three things that come to me uh, first. For players that are coming out of high school into the CGFL, do you have to teach them where to hold the ball or hold, how, to, how to hold it? You're, you're smiling, so I'm guessing yes. Well, I mean, I guess uh, I, I don't know if, how it is in, in every province, but, you know, in the prairies, and like myself, I'm from a small town, and so depend certain uh, programs, maybe – you know, play, a player might have just played for one year of football before that and hardly, and hardly got, you know, those skills and those basics of technique learned. And so there has been times where it's kind of like, okay, um, <laughs> we have to start the basics. And because when you have a group of running backs and there's your fifth year players and then there's your high school players together, you kind of got to start at square one. And it's kind of like, well, really cool work on handoffs. But well, we do because um, some of these guys are, are raw, but, uh, even if they might not know those skills, you can see their athleticism. You can see that power, that balance, and their their instincts are there. And so there are times where you have to uh, back up a few steps before you can move ahead to the other things for sure. Is there extra pressure on you as the Saskatoon Hilltop running back coach, maybe more than any other team in the CJFL, to have a good run game to make sure these players are physically tough and, and do have that good vision to find that hole when that offensive line opens it up? Uh <laughs> I would say, uh, like from the hilltops, I mean, we have had, you know, great success running the ball and we've had, a, you know, a well-balanced attack. And, but obviously the, it all starts with the big guys up front. And so we've been blessed backs to have, you know, a lot of, you know, all-star and all Canadian uh, O-linemen. And so I guess I would say probably the pressure is more so on the, the O-line coach than myself, but uh, as running backs, all we can do is, uh, you know, get them as ready as we can in practice. And like I said, it's, well, it's such, it's such a tough position to play. It's, there's so many facets to it, whether it's running the ball, catching the ball, pass blocking. So it's running, but we got to work on all those skills. And I, I would say there's a, a pressure to, uh, to make that first guy miss because the O line might do their job. You get five, six yards, the running back, our job is to make at least one guy miss. Hmm. And so uh, there is a, there is, pressure but I mean uh pressure makes diamonds and uh you know we just kind of got to do our job let the O-line do their job and we'll we'll have success 
Where's the importance of pass blocking for a running back? Yeah, you, you got to be fast, got to have that vision. But where's pass blocking in all of this? Oh, I, I think for us, it's 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 up there because, yeah. uh, I mean, like I said, we want to do a balanced attack for us, say with the hilltops. But in in any, even watching NFL all weekend, uh, running if you can't trust someone to stick in there and pass block, then you can't really trust them on those passing downs or you kind of know if he's in there that they are going to run the ball because they don't trust a certain, you know, running back to pass block. So they need to be able to do a little bit of everything. They need to be a well-rounded player. And so the pass blocking, I mean, if your quarterback can't trust, trust you to pick up that blitzer, then uh, <laughs> he's not going to want you in there. Is there still times in your coaching career that you wish you could just go on the field and do it for these guys? Your body aside, <laughs> do you, any, any time? Uh, I mean, there, there is maybe the thought, you know, kind of <laughs> when we're kind of warming up and things are kind of go, get going and the coaches were, were throwing the ball around a bit and I, and I kind of get the juices flowing. I kind of think to myself, hey, I could, I could get five or ten plays <laughs> in. But, but uh, then I see these guys in the third and fourth quarter especially on a, on a hot day or on a cold day, even worse so that, uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll let you guys do that and uh, I'll take care of the X's and O's. But uh, maybe there is the odd itch here and there, but uh, I, I think I know that that time has passed for me. You bring up an interesting point. Is it easy to be a running back in the warm weather or the cold weather, or does it matter? Oh, I'm sure every, well, I'm sure depending on who you ask, they'll give you a different answer. Myself, I was a bit bigger running back and so I kind of like the, the cold weather kind of the cold grindy weather I mean being from Saskatchewan I, we're kind of used to the cold and the cold also it's getting to be playoff time or it's an important game so the cold is kind of something that we embraced when it was uh the warm weather for me I kind of got tired a little bit quicker and especially if it was a, a game where we had to, to you know grind the run game and it was a you know a dog fight for every yard I mean that kind of made it for a long day whereas I knew I was going to stay warm, even if it was cold outside. You must be itching to get back on the field. <laughs> I, I think any coach you could talk to in Canada is itching to get out there, and especially with, you know, NFL playoffs and yeah. college football playoffs going on, everyone's watching, and we're just kind of sitting at home twiddling our thumbs. But uh, hopefully uh, things can get under control and we'll have a season in 2021. Well, listen, thanks for doing this. Thanks for being part of Running Backs Week. And uh, all – great uh, continued success with the hilltops hopefully yeah we'll see you on the field here in 2021 awesome thank you